Hey guys, it's Jo, and I'm back to tell you a little bit about what I've been doing. So, I recently, maybe like a month ago or two months ago, signed up for a UCLA Extension Writing Program class, which was um, the one-hour spec drama, and so I'm doing the beginning writer's course, which is just basically perfecting an outline before you actually start to write. And so I wanted to tell you a little bit about my experiences because I know I tried to look up some people's experiences and there wasn't many out there. So just for reference, I am a self-taught screenwriter that is residing in Florida. I had a little bit of time to consider which class I wanted to take. And what I did was there's multiple sort of modes, if you'd like, um, game, let's speaking gamer codes. You can actually do a class where you don't receive any credit and if you just want to take these classes just simply one at a time or just one period and you don't want to continue with the other classes, you just want to sharpen your skills, you can do that. The other mode that they have is where you get letter graded and uh, this actually counts as a credit toward other things because they do have screenwriting certificates that you can earn by taking multiple classes. So there's that way you can go, which also I think includes the third mode, which is a pass or fail. And that also gives you the credits for you to continue and do something like the certificate, the screenwriting certificate program that they offer, which in total, I believe if you go in order of what they have, because they do have it listed on the website, what you would take to be considered um, completed with that specific program, um, then you can go ahead and you can take them single and, you know, maybe just summer courses if, if you do a full-time job like I do uh, and, you know, just do your homework when you can. Um, everything is deadline driven, so it's the same as you would with any other class, so that's really cool. And so right now I'm actually taking the one where you receive a letter grade and you get um, credit just for doing it. It's pretty much sign up, pay, do the course. Um, if that breaks it down for you, I'll just tell you I paid about 670 to 680 I believe, or even 690 I'm not sure, for this class, so just under 700 just to take this course. And um, I didn't go through any grants or anything like that. I just kind of paid it myself and hoped for the best. <laughs> so let's get into the class. The class is on Canvas. Canvas is this really cool online portal with which you go through and you create a password and everything. And um, you just do your modules through it. So the assignments go through modules and you can see uh, let's see a few things on there. You can see your the announcements. You can see the course syllabus, which is uploaded two days, two days before your class officially begins. That's when you can see the outline of what you're going to be doing, and you can access the portal. You've got your modules, your grades, um, people who are in your class. You have access to that. A lot of discussions are done. I'd, I'd assume a lot of discussions are going to continue to be done through this portal. Um, for many other screenwriting classes because this is a very um, feedback driven place that we've, we've gone to in our life so a lot of your writing will be critiqued by others uh, your peers and so you will also get a chance to do the same thing for them and critique them and you can follow along with the process so that's really cool and you have access to emailing the professor which is really cool any questions that you have you get a quick response so I love it and so this first week, I will go through some fun points with this week. So this is my second week right now through the summer course. And I am actually, um, through the first week, I did a series Bible and I had to give my logline of my story idea, uh, which you just really mainly do the A story if you do have multiple stories, you can knock out the ABC story in the log line. And um, it was, you know, no longer than three sentences. And then um, we had to do an introduction of ourselves, who we are and why we're here. And you got to kind of say hi to a few other classmates who are kind of, I think, spread out or a little bit all over the place. Some of them are in LA, some of them are um, some other countries, some of them are, you know, from other countries, but they're living in LA now. And uh, some other people are like me, they're from a different state like New York or Florida, um, and so on. So, that's really cool. But, your assignments, 
are on a time limit. You do have a specific time to get it in. So we get our assignments posted on or unlocked really at one date and you have a few days or a week to actually get it in and then discuss. And that's each graded. You get points for that. So, so far it's really cool. Although, please pay attention to your syllabus and please pay attention to what you're signing up for because like a crazy person, I was working, working, working. I had my mind set on one actual um, series that I really, really wanted to write on. I considered it a drama, but dramas are quite considered 48 pages to um, 60 something pages. So I mistakenly um, went off of just genre, which I went with Mozart in the Jungle, and that is a half hour drama, guys. Don't make my mistakes. Just letting you know, I'm going to be really embarrassed and really open and honest, honest about this, but don't make my mistakes. So if you're doing a one hour spec drama course, you're going to choose a one hour spec drama and you may think like, oh, that's really dumb. You should know that already because it says it in the class title and she wrote it there. But I was really, really stuck in my head about doing this one thing and you'd be surprised. I, I overlooked everything, but I was doing everything else meticulously and um, yeah, just remember that you are a beginner and you're going to make mistakes and you're probably going to continue to make mistakes even if you become some big famous screenwriter somewhere. So that's what's going on in my life. So far, I'm really digging the class. I, I can get into it. Um, I'm learning a lot, which I was afraid that I wasn't going to learn a lot because being self-taught, you've kind of scoured the internet for everything, and the internet's really, really great. It's a big book of knowledge, and really, there's almost no way that you can't learn everything off of the internet. But lo and behold, you need someone professional to tell you what's missing off of the internet. And I've taken a lot of courses over the years or over the months, and they're reputable, they're reputable websites, but they just weren't 100% something I didn't know already. So I'm actually really glad that this is teaching me a lot. I'm not going to go into the content because you're going to have to take the class yourself. Sorry. But um, I will say that the next few assignments, I'm going to be on point. And although I'm struggling right now to redo a whole outline, um, and not even a whole outline, just kind of a part of an outline, uh, I'm still having fun, and I'm still remembering that writing is deadline oriented, and you must be organized, patient, and just persevere through. Even if you think that your story is coming out crap, you have to just stick with it. I chose another series to go off of that was completely a horrendous mistake. You're not supposed to choose a freshman show, um, although it has already ended its first season and it's going into its second season which has not been released. The OA. Um, I'm doing my best to stick with it and not give up on it and surprise myself. So here's to me pushing myself to do things that I feel like I'm not ready for but probably I'm ready for. So good luck guys and if you're thinking of taking the class I already recommend it and I'll keep posting some updates maybe mid mid-quarter after a couple weeks through to let you know how it's continuing on. So, thanks. Bye.